Hello everyone. Today we will start a new topic that is male sterility, its origin, cause and treatment. So let's start. So here I have mentioned the learning outcomes of today's topics. That is, after going through this particular presentation, we can learn about male sterility, its origin and different causes of it, then types of male sterility, then symptoms of male sterility and also about it diagnosis and treatment. So first see what is infertility or we can say that what is especially male infertility okay. So it is the inability of a person to reproduce by natural mean. It means when a person is naturally inable to reproduce or gives birth to offspring is known as infertility. So average incidence of infertility is about 15% globally varies in different populations. And according to the US NICHD, one third of infertility cases are caused by male reproductive problems and one third by female reproductive issues and another one third by both or by different unknown factors. So here we can see the different uh, percentage of uh, causes or the fa uh, factors which are responsible for infertility. So it may be female, uh, female uh, problems, female reproductive problems or it may be male reproductive problems or it may be mixed infertility causes also or it may be uh, some others or unexplained, unexplained infertility. So there may be different types of region which may cause infertility. Now see, uh, what is sterility in case of men? men. So, uh, it is an inability of a man to fertilize a fertile female. So, when a man is, enab is not, uh, we can say that uh, when a man is not able to fertilize a fertile female by natural means, it means the man is sterile. We can say the man is sterile because he is unable to fertilize a normal fertile female. So uh, st uh, in case of sterility in man, though there are lots of factors affecting a man's uh, a man uh, for his sterility which includes uh, pre-testicular or testicular or post-testicular problems or, it, uh, or uh, due to different sperm abnormalities also. So now see, uh, about 7% of all men have infertility issues and uh, which accounts for 40 to 50% of infertility cases in human. Now see uh, the sterility in men is mainly of two types. Uh, one is primary uh, sterility and the second one is secondary sterility. So now see what is uh, primary sterility. So uh, primary sterility means when a couple has never achieved pregnancy in their lifetime. Uh, or reproductive period so it means primary sterility but when after having one child or a child the couple does not achieve the second pregnancy it means there is an absence of the second pregnancy they already have a one child so in that case that type of sterility is known as the secondary sterility okay now see so here uh, uh, it described uh, this map describes uh, uh, how much uh, con uh, this map is showing that uh, containing percentage of infertility cases per region that are due to male factors. So basically we are dealing with the male sterility. So we will uh, you know uh, mainly focus on the uh, the causes which uh, or infertility causes by male factors. So now see here different uh, regions uh, of, uh, and here the mention the percentage of the uh, causes or the infertility causes by male factors okay now see so now the question is that is the infertility and the sterility is the same thing so see the term sterility and infertility are commonly used interchangeably but they are not synonyms so sterility refers to the inability to have have offspring due to problems in fertilization so now see the sterility, the, uh, the term sterility means it's an inability to have uh, offspring or child due to problems in 
fertilization okay fertilize in fertilization process so it means a uh, sterility is related to fertilization related problems but infertility indicates the inability to carry a pregnancy to term so infertility is related to pregnancy and sterility is related to fertilization problem so here we can see uh, in this diagram very clearly that our uh, sterility means no fertilization that means no pregnancy and infertility infertility means if there is no fertilization it means what uh, but no ongoing pregnancy but uh, the thing is that in sterility there is no fertilization okay no fertilization means what no pregnancy but in case of infertility there is fertilization means fertilization may take place normally but there will be no ongoing pregnancy so infertility means fertilization is present but pregnancy related problems are there but in sterility there will be no fertilization it means no pregnancy okay this is the basic difference between sterility and infertility now see uh, what are the origin and different causes of male sterility so uh, there, there are different reasons or causes which can cause male sterility so here i have mentioned some of those so pre-testicular or testicular causes then post testicular causes uh, then immune system factors uh, then it may be some tobacco smoking or dna damage or epigenetic or sperm disorders so here uh, this uh, diagram clearly shows different causes of male sterility here we can clearly uh, you know say that that uh, you know uh, nine percent of the male infertility is caused due to urinogenital infection six percent is due to sexual factors and systemic uh, diseases due to th uh, three percent due to systemic disease then uh, you know there are different uh, uh, percentages are there which are uh, which are explained with their uh, reasons or the factors okay uh, now see here are uh, the first uh, here that is testicular causes we are uh, first we will see the pre uh, endocrine or pre testicular causes okay so pre testicular factors refers to conditions that impede adequate support of the testes and include situation of poor hormonal support and poor general health so pre testicular causes or endocrine causes are mainly due to uh, due to hormonal imbalance mainly we know that uh, the uh, two gonadal hormone that is released from the hypoth uh, uh, pituitary that is luteinizing hormone and the follicle stimulating hormone which mainly stimulate uh, the process of spermatogenesis so if there is any problem uh, with these two hormone that is lh and fh cases then there uh, there it may it can cause the problem the second, uh, so here uh, I have also mentioned in this diagram the pre-testicular causes. So here we can see that uh, the pituitary diseases, then isolated LH and FHH deficiency. So there are some of the uh, regions I mentioned there. Now see uh, testicular causes. So after pre-testicular causes, uh, now testicular. So it refers to conditions where the testes produce sperm of low quantity or poor quality despite adequate hormonal support and include uh, variocele, a condition of swallow in testicle vein. So testicular causes is what? So in testicular causes uh, here, it mainly uh, defines where uh, uh, no, testes produce uh, sperms but a uh, low quantity or it may uh, be poor quality sperm okay uh, despite of uh, despite the presence of adequate hormonal support so here see so uh, there is an uh, term that is variocele it means uh, uh, there is a condition of the uh, you know swelling of the uh, veins present in the testicles so they are so these are some of the testicular causes so here uh, different testicular uh, causes uh, are mentioned here so we, uh, you can all of you can you know go through this for the details of the testicular causes so now see the post testicular causes so these factors decrease male fertility due to conditions that affect the male genital system after testicular sperm production it includes defects of the genital tract as well as problems problems in uh, ejaculation so post testicular uh, causes mainly includes those problems or the those causes 
uh, which mainly affect uh, the male genital system okay uh, after the production of sperm so it mainly uh, includes the defects in the uh, genital tract or the sem uh, seminal uh, uh, which includes seminal duct obstructions where uh, we can see in this diagram then here uh, mention some of the post testicular causes then ca uh, causes of male infertility so all the uh, uh, different type of causes are uh, is mentioned in this particular slide that is uh, pre-testicular causes that is hormonal imbalance then testicular causes then post-testicular causes then sperm related factors so these are some of the problems main problems we can say that due to which our male infertility may take place then here uh, uh, we have already uh, you know discussed in our previous slide that there may be some uh, immune system factors are also there which can cause uh, you know the in male infertility so anti-sperm antibodies have been considered as infertility cause in around 10 to 30 of infertile couples so there may be uh, a factor that is anti-sperm antibodies or ASA so ASA production are di directed against surface antigens on sperm which can interfere with sperm mortality risk factors for the formation of anti-sperm antibodies in men include the breakdown of the blood testis barrier trauma and surgery orchitis variocele infection prostatitis testicular cancer failure and of immunosuppression then uh, tobacco smoking is uh, it may be a reason so harmful products of tobacco smoking may damage the testicles and kill sperm so tobacco smoking it may be a region of infertility then dna damage Common inherited variants in genes that encode enzymes employed in DNA mismatch repair are associated with increased risks of sperm DNA damage and male infertility. Then again, uh, epigenetic an increased amount of recent evidence has been recorded documenting abnormal sperm DNA methylation in association with abnormal semen parameters and male infertility. Then there may be some other factors also which can cause infertility, age or uh, genetic defects on the Y chromosome, abnormal set of chromosomes malaria testicular cancer etc also account for male infertility so um, so these are some of the uh, factors or causes which which can cause the infertility related problems in case of men then uh, this uh, here I have uh, put a, di uh, a clear diagram you know from this diagram we can see different uh, like causes you know so here uh, I have mentioned some uh, sperm production problems are there you know due to genetic causes or failure of testes to descend infections torsion various cells drugs sperm antibodies then a blockage of sperm tra uh, transport due to infection or uh, absence of vas deferens then problems in producing hormones for sperm production that is hormonal control which is related to brain or the uh, you know hormone secreting glands then uh, ejection and ejaculation problem which may be due to prostate surgery damage to nerves ejaculation problems then uh, so there you know some of the problems which are related to male sterility and their causes okay then uh, sperm disorders so we can also uh, as we have studied about uh, its uh, different causes we, uh, we have uh, we have to know about the disorders related to uh, the uh, you know infertile uh, sperm low quality sperm production or you know uh, the disorders or diseases related to this topic so see now uh, what our uh, sperm factor so it is the most common cause of male sterility sperm count low mortality or abnormalities in sperm structures are some of the thing that can make it difficult to get pregnant so there is a disorder that is oligospermia or oligojuospermia. It means decreased number of spermatozoa in semen. When uh, in semen there is a decrease or low number of spermatozoa there, the disease is known as oligospermia or oligojuospermia. Then aspermia means complete lack of semen. Okay. Then hypospermia means reduced semi uh, seminal volume. Then azospermia, uh, where uh, azospermia is a condition uh, in uh, condition of absence of sperm cell in semen so there is an absence of sperm cells then teratospermia means increase in sperm with abnormal morphology then asthenojuospermia reduce sperm mortality necrozoospermia means all sperm uh, in the ejaculated are dead leukospermia a high level of white blood cells in semen so we have to know 
uh, the different diseases related to sperm okay so uh, this uh, and if, uh, the term with their definition or the causes then our uh, sperm abnormalities are uh, see normal sperm count low sperm count then uh, progressive sperm mortality low sperm mortality normal form abnormal form so there are uh, here concentration so in uh, case of normal sperm count this will be the concentration and in case of low sperm count see this one in case of mortality progressive sperm mortality speed then this is low sperm mortality uh, side so this green side will uh, uh, you know describe the normal form or morphology of the sperm then this is abnormal form so in this particular slide here uh, 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 this slide is mainly showing the differences between you know normal condition and the abnormal condition then uh, here you know some of the uh, uh, infertility uh, related problems that they that is the primary pathologies of male reproductive system so we can also go through it for the you know uh, better knowledge of this topic then symptoms so symptoms of infertility and sterility so the main sign of male infertility is the inability to conceive a child after one year trying to conceive so if uh, if anyone is unable to conceive a child after trying one year so it may uh, so this is also a symptoms okay so other signs and symptoms commonly associated with male infertility includes hypogonadism smaller than normal testicle low libido and uh, erection pro uh, problems altered semen with an abnormal color or strong odor etc appearance of varicose veins in the testicles so these are some of the symptoms you know in uh, infertility symptoms or sterility symptoms then diagnosis so a physical examination to evaluate the patient's overall state of health as well as his reproductive organs is important then a semen analysis to check the quality of the sperm he produces in terms of mortality count morphology and vitality a male, male hormone profile test via blood work in case uh, the assay shows an abnormal outcome then now now come to treatment so assisted reproductive technology includes IVF, GIFT, ICSI. So IVF means in vitro fertilization, GIFT means gamete endofallopian uh, intrafallopian transfer, and ICSI means intracytoplasmic sperm insection. So uh, ART is uh, is also uh, a treatment of infertility. Then hormonal therapy are also there. Surgical treatment in some cases. Natural treatments are also there so first see the art so in uh, art ivf uh, uh, means ivf is included under art now ivf means in vivo fertilization that is it involves the joining of egg and this and sperms in a lab dish to enhance fertilization that is outside the body okay fertilized eggs are transferred after that you know after fertilization the fertilized egg is transferred into the uterus Ovarian stimulation drugs are used in order to retrieve several eggs and maximize chances for successful fertilization. And the success rate of IVF is about 20% per egg retrieval. Then uh, this is the mechanism of IVF uh, in which there is in vitro fertilization. So the first, uh, you know, first step is the induction of ovulation. We have to induce the process of ovulation okay so the first step is the uh, ovarian stimulation by hormonal therapy okay then tasting we have to taste for the uh, egg pickup okay then oocyte retrieval so third process is oocyte retrieval then semen collection we have to collect the semen from the donor uh, then sperm preparation after the collection of the sperm we have to prepare that for the fertilization process after that insemination then con uh, confirmation of fertilization after that uh, the uh, collected sperm and uh, ret uh, the retrieved oocyte uh, fertilized outside the body so after that fertilization embryo transplant it is the fertilized egg then uh, transferred to the uh, female uh, female body so this is uh, the basic steps which are related to IVF then uh, here also mentioned some of the um, those steps which I, which we have already discussed in the previous slide that is the process of the in vitro fertilization that is the first step is the woman is given hormonal treatments to stimulate egg, egg production 
uh, that is the egg uh, then uh, this uh, second step is multiple eggs are taken from the women's ovary so in second step the um, you know the eggs are collected from the ovary then in the third step in the lab the eggs are mixed with the men's sperm cell in a culture dish to become fertilized so in a day in, in lab uh, so the collected ovum or the eggs are mixed with the uh, donor's um, sperm for the process of fertilization and after that the fertilized eggs or embryos are placed in an incubator for about 48 hours and after that embryos are implanted in the women's uterus or frozen for future implantation or implanting process. Now the second step is uh, under assisted reproductive technology is GIFT that is gamete intra fallopian transfer. Here gametes uh, are transferred to the uh, you know uh, fallopian tube. GIFT is a procedure that involves ovarian stimulation, retrieval of eggs, placing the mixture of egg and sperm directly into the fallopian tube. So in this process, so in, see, uh, see in this diagram here uh, what the uh, what but what has happened mainly so here the gamete that is the uh, egg uh, ovary after ovarian stimulation eggs are collected then um, then sperms uh, are collected and after that ovum and sperm mixtures is transferred to the fallopian tube okay so that's why it's called gamete intra fallopian transfer it is gametes are directly transferred uh, from the outside to the fallopian tube then uh, under ART, uh, there is an another method. It is ICSI. It is intracytocystoplasmic uh, sperm insection. So see here, invo it involves the injection of single sperm into the egg. Only active undamaged sperms are selected for injection. Here, intracystoplasmic sperm injection, just uh, a selected uh, sperm is injected. Okay. Uh, for the fertilization process fertility drugs are supplied to women to produce multiple eggs eggs are observed to see if fertilization takes place or not fertilization rate uh, here uh, in this process the fertilization rate is 65 percent implantation into the uterus takes place within 72 hours of icsi and success rate uh, rate ranges from 25 to 35 percent so here sperm is injected okay then uh, ho uh, under hormonal therapy administration of uh, LH hormone or follicle stimulating hormone that is the two gonadal hormone is very effective in the treatment of male infertility due to hypogonadotropic high or hypogonadism then low dose of estrogen and testosterone combination therapy improves sperm count and mortality in some men including in men with severe oligospermia so in hormonal therapy some hormones are introduced or they administered uh, for the you know uh, uh, for the increased rate of uh, fertilization then uh, niche uh, there are some natural treatment also so see a healthy lifestyle uh, with a balanced diet combined with vitamin supplements can help improve seminal quality in lighter cases above all antioxidants such as uh, selenium carnitine sand vitamins uh, eac and b12 are very important because of the complications involved, natural remedies are viewed as superior as they are safer and also more effective. It uh, helps improve general health of the parents and as a result, babies conceived through natural methods are healthier. So uh, we can here clearly see some of the natural treatments uh, for the sterility. So uh, here mentioned some of the future potential treatments. So researchers uh, at Munster University develop in vitro culture conditions using a 3D agriculture system which induces mouse testicular cells to reach the final stages of spermatogenesis including spermatozoa generation. If reproduced in humans, this could potentially enable infertile men to further ado of other children with their own sperm. Researchers from uh, Montana State University developed Precursors of sperm from skin cells of infertile men. So uh, these are some of the future potential treatments. Okay, so the, here I have uh, mentioned some of these uh, references which I have used uh, for the preparation of this particular presentation, or we can also uh, you know go through some of these references for future studies. So thank you for your kind attention.